Trail Ahead, an epic battle that boggles the imagination. Two DC-10s, an 8,800-pound elephant, and 44 little people. It's the duel in the desert. It's what you've all been waiting for. The epic battle, a massive four-ton elephant versus the four little people pulling identical DC-10s. It's time for the duel in the desert. Next. Go, we got him. Go! You are looking at two identical DC-10 jumbo jets, each weighing in at more than 230,000 pounds. Here in California's high desert, one massive beast will go head to head against a team of humans to see who has the skill and the stamina to move these mammoth machines. It's the duel in the desert, the consummate test of strength between man and beast. The beast, an 8,800 pound Asian elephant. The man, 44 little people whose combined weight is only half of their beastly opponents. Here with me to provide expert analysis of tonight's contest is a man who has spent a lifetime exploring the animal world, a foremost authority on just about anything that's not human. Jules Sylvester. Jules? This is an incredible matchup, Steve. An event that is truly brains versus brawn. The little people have the strength in numbers, but they must work together. Trust their teammates and try to outsmart their opponent. The beast, on the other hand, will be relying on plain brute strength. The animal kingdom, the elephant, is about as strong as they come. Hi, sweetheart. They're the most powerful creatures walking on Earth. And for centuries, man has used the elephant's awesome strength to move logs, rocks, and other objects that no other animal could possibly budge. Growing as large as six tons and able to move at 25 miles per hour, Asian elephants are nature's bulldozers. Gary, she's used to pulling things, but this is a huge DC tent. She can have a problem pulling this thing? She's used to pulling a lot of heavy objects. We pull trucks around home, big logs. It's just like a big silver log with wings. What are we going to be looking for when she starts pulling this thing? I think she'll pull into the harness, you know, put her weight into it, put her head down, and hopefully just keep going. What are you going to be doing during the race? I'll guide her and coach her, make sure she goes straight. And I'm going to get out of the way. <laughs> okay. Steve. Thanks, Jules. The little people will be venturing into uncharted waters because none of them have any background in weight pulling or strength competitions. For man, it's all about technique, technique, technique. Earlier today, the little people arrived and got their first look at the huge metallic beast, a DC-10 jumbo jet. They immediately started to prepare for the task at hand. You're pulling yourself forward you're driving with your legs, pulling the plane. Their coach, six foot eight professional strongman Charlie Captor, walked the little people through the proper technique and the importance of teamwork. They're really gonna have to work together, all of them, same time, get down, drive with their legs. If they don't, it's gonna be very tough. Put your mind to it, you can do anything. Whatever you dream of, if you really wanna do it, you can do it. Come on, pull! Harness, trained, and mentally prepared to achieve the impossible, the huge team of 44 little people were finally clear for takeoff. Now, Charlie, I've seen strongmen pull airplanes before, but your team is vertically challenged. Is that going to make any difference to you at all? Yeah, they're going to have to keep their balance, lean forward, and really drive with their legs. Joe, how do you feel on this one? Are you confident? Oh, Jules, very, very positive here. Uh, with this low center of gravity, I think that we are going to be a winner. Well, I'll be honest with you, man. I'm putting my money on the elephant, man. Well, you're an animal lover. <laughs> I know my people. Come okay, on. okay. Well, the best of luck to you. Thank anyway, you. Steve, back to you. All right, guys, this is how the competition is going to work. Both man and beast will be attached to their individual aircraft. The elephant has been outfitted with a 30-pound synthetic harness that is connected to the plane's front tire by a steel cable. The little people are secured not only to, the, to themselves, they are joined together by five different ropes. The planes are identical. Each has a wingspan of 155 feet, and from nose to tail, they are both 180 feet long. At their highest point, our DC-10s top out at 58 feet. Again, each plane weighs in at over 230,000 pounds. Our competitors will attempt to pull their plane a distance of 25 yards, and whoever gets there first is the winner. Both man and beast
least are set to go, so the duel in the desert is on. Ready, set, go. Here we go. Now for both teams, the elephant and the little people, overcoming the inertia is going to take a feat of amazing determination. Look at them strain. Look at you can only imagine how difficult it is for the little people. These jets are huge. But these people are determined, and there are the wheels. The wheels are moving. The elephant has also gotten his jet going. So now it's anybody's event. Look at this, folks. Look at these little people pull. This is just incredible. They are determined, and it is going to be close. Keep in mind, it's when the front wheel of the jet crosses the finish line. OK, the first group of little people have crossed the finish line. The elephant is just making it now. And I'll tell you what, it's very close. It's very close, folks. It's incredible. All oh, the little people are putting forth a tremendous effort here. 44 little people are going toe to toe with an Asian elephant. The elephant looks like he's pulled into the lead. And the elephant has won. The elephant, the beast has beat the man. The beast has beat the man. Nice. Oh, I think he got it. What an incredible race. What an incredible feat for both man and beast. It happened so fast, huh, Jules? I'm very impressed with the elephant. She just put her heart and soul into that. But then again, you got uh, five tons getting out inertia going, and she took it, and she's taking a salute right there. And uh, she deserves it. She worked real hard for that one. OK, our times, our official times. The elephant came in at 31 seconds, and the little people just over 38 seconds. Let's go down to Jules, who's on the tarmac. Well, that was pretty impressive, but let's take a look at this race in slow motion. Check this out. Here we go. Yeah, you're yeah. up in front there. Oh, yeah, we had a good start. And there's Ty. She's leaning into it. Here we go. I'll go. Yeah, yeah. You actually got it going there. Yeah, it was a good start. And this now is our team's leaning down. Well, I thought we had it right here. I thought we were doing good here. You did have it, man. You kept it going. But oh. once Ty got inertia going, she was out of there. Look at that. Yeah, it's pretty close, pretty close. Still, yeah, neck and neck the whole way right Neck here. and neck right there. Wow, I thought you guys had it for sure. Let's see those feet. Look at that. Yeah, Flat on the ground. Oh. She's only got four feet, guys. You guys have got 88 feet. Yeah. The stride on that <laughs> elephant. I just couldn't believe the stride on it. How difficult was it for you guys? I felt great. I mean, the this? center of gravity was good. I thought, you know, we got a good start off. There it goes. And she had it. And she knew it. Thank you so much. Oh. Charlie, well done, man. Very good. Yeah. Joe, congratulations, oh, Joe, man. Thank you. Good job. Well done, Gary. All right. Yeah, everybody! Jules, we thank you for your expert commentary, and we congratulate the Beast for an unbelievable exhibition of strength and stamina. And we congratulate our team of little people for an amazing display of teamwork and guts. Tonight, on the first ever Man vs. Beast, four-ton elephant who beat the man, while the sprinter and the Navy SEAL were the only two men to beat the beast. In the end, it's Beast 4, Man 2. I'm Steve Santagati, and you've been watching Man vs. Beast. Have a great night.